Hey everybody, it's Mo from Organizing with Mo, and today I'm going to be organizing my toy closet. Now, before I show you the craziness that is my toy closet, I wanted to show you a couple of the bins that I've already bought. I know that they'll fit in my space, so I went ahead and bought some, but a lot of times when you are organizing a space, you have to pull it all out and sort it and kind of see how much you have of something before you can go buy bins that you know you'll need but I already know the sizes that I need. So I went ahead and bought some and I wanted to show those to you real quick. So these are the bins that I bought. Um, I went ahead and bought 12 of them. These are just from Walmart. They're the Better Home and Garden ones. They come in two sizes. Uh, these are the 12 by 15 by 12 and they fit really well in my space and they're really lightweight because they're fabric. And so my kids can pull them uh, down the, uh, off the shelves real easy. And uh, I think they're going to work great for my space. I might need to go buy a few more other items, but for right now, these are going to work great. And now for the big reveal, I'm going to show you the craziness of my toy closet. It's kind of a mishmash of games, puzzles, crafts, art supplies, electronics. But as you can tell, it's basically exploded out into my dining room. So I really need to go in and reorganize it. The tubs that I have that you can see right there are falling apart, but they're the exact same size as the ones I just showed you. And we obviously, we've got new toys from Christmas. We've got old toys that are either broken or the kids don't play with anymore. So I want to pull those out so I can uh, donate them if they're uh, still usable. I'm going to be sorting it into piles and groups, which I will show you later. And then we will be reorganizing it into the new bins and putting it back on the shelves in a nice orderly fashion. <laughs> So now I've pulled everything out of my closet and put it in different piles. So yeah, that's a lot of stuff, huh? It's kind of crazy how you don't realize how much stuff you can stuff into a space until you pull it all out and you've got it in piles. So now the next step is to go through each one individually, touch everything in that pile, decide if I want to keep it if I want to trash it or if I want to donate it. Those are the three things now that we're looking at um, for the next step. All right, so now we're ready for the fun part. We've got the closet completely cleared out and cleaned out. We've got all the toys um, sorted and organized. And then I've got my tub set up and ready to be filled. And my donate pile's way out of the way. I've got my trash pile finished. So now it's time to put it all back together and see what it looks like. So here we go. It's about that time for the big reveal. Before I do, I just wanted to show you, um, here's my living room back to normal. Um, everything's either been picked up or put in the trash or put in the donate pile. So everything fits quite nicely. So here we go. And here is the final result. So I was able to get all my stuff in there and still have some room, some shelving if I want to add some more bins later. But I've got all my puzzles and my games up top for all the adults. Then I've got arts and craft supplies right there. We've got games and puzzles 
and drawing stuff for the kiddos on these bottom two shelves. And then we got their little cars and bouncy dogs at the bottom. So here it is. Much better than it was before. Nothing in the, nothing in the floor. <laughs> One last thing, so as you organize your different spaces in your house, as you come across donations that you may have, clothing, toys, books, whatever, um, really think about places in your local area that might accept donations, call around, find out who does, and I really encourage you to find one that supports something that's near and dear to you. For example, this one, uh, my, my donation pile will be going to a consignment shop that supports foster families. So just find a store or consignment shop that will take your donations and you can walk away knowing that your donations could help someone else um, or just maybe just brighten their day. So I just wanted to um, encourage you guys to reach out, support your local community, uh, your local stores, and I will see you next time on another organizing video. Bye guys.